Good evening. Right now, Metro police are desperately searching for the person or people responsible for killing a man and a woman. And I got a down the street. Breaking news now. A triple shooting leaves two dead. Never expect for somebody to tell you your loved one was, was murdered. This Labor Day will mark 42 years that have haunted the St. Cloud family. 30 years. 30 years this family has waited for answers. A couple months go by, three, four, five, six, and you, you really start to struggle with the idea that the case might not get solved and uh, that somebody might get away with murder. It's very unfortunate that we have any cold cases at all, and certainly unfortunate that we have as many as we do. And that's why the Ryan's work and the work of Project Cold Case is so important. Hey, Wiley. Can you see me? Can you hear me? I can see you and I can hear you. Good, good, good. Thank you, everybody that's uh, joining us this evening. You may recognize we've got a little bit of a later start because uh, technology isn't always our friend, <laughs> but we do the best we can with it. I'm Ryan Backman, uh, founder and executive director of Project Cold Case. And joining me this evening is Wiley Hodges, the executive director of First Coast Crime Stoppers here in Jacksonville. Thank you, Wiley. Thank you very much for the invitation. <laughs> so we we did this uh, over a year ago now, probably a year and a half ago. Um, but we sat down. We had a really good response of talking to families directly about what Crime Stoppers is, how it can assist in uh, solving cold cases, uh, hot cases, uh, murder cases, any kind of case. Uh, Crime Stoppers is a wonderful tool, but we we always get new viewers. We always get new listeners, uh, new people that don't uh, understand Crime Stoppers, haven't had it explained to them, and or maybe have a misconception about Crime Stoppers. And um, one of the the greatest things about uh, you and, and I, my relationship with you, Wiley, is you are as straight a shooter as they come. I've always appreciated that about you. And okay. you do not hide from any question. You don't dodge any question. Um, you are completely um, committed to Crime Stoppers and the service that it provides. And I've never heard anybody explain it as well as you do. Um, so I invite anybody that may be, you know, watching us tonight to, uh, to ask questions in the comment section, I'll pull them up. Uh, but in the meantime, we're just going to go through some of the basics and, and I've, I've made some notes for myself, but Wiley, if you could explain a little bit, um, one about your background, how you got involved in this, cause you're not just some guy that worked at Crime Stoppers, you know, or filled out an application for Crime Stoppers. Uh, you have a background in law enforcement. You have, um, you know, the experience that's helpful uh, to have the job that you have now. And then give us a little breakdown on how Crime Stoppers works. Okay. Uh, real quickly, my background is uh, law enforcement. Uh, the sheriff's office for some uh, 30 plus years. Uh, I attained the rank of under sheriff and retired uh, uh 12, 14 years ago. Uh, I retired for two months and uh, thought I'd done that, mastered that. So I was looking <laughs> for something else. And uh, anyhow, I was approached back to, uh, from the board of directors of Crime Stoppers. And I said, sure, I'll put my application in. And I did. And, and that's that's where I am today. And I love every minute of it. I think the, the program is a great program or I wouldn't be involved. And, uh, you know, we, our, our mission, if you will, is to, to help law enforcement uh, in solving crime and, and trying to make our communities and, and city and state and everything else a safer place to be. And that's those times are getting harder and harder. Uh, but, uh, you know, just real briefly, if, if I've got a minute there, sure. Ryan, just I mean, the heart of the heart of the Crime Stoppers program is extremely simple. And to use it is, is very simple. But let me, if you don't get anything else, I'll say the, the heart of the program is gives people the ability to call in uh, information about a crime or a criminal, uh, maintain 100% anonymity. No one will ever know who you are. You never have to come forward. We don't, we don't want to know who you are. Uh, so don't even try to tell us. All we want is your information. And if your information leads to an arrest, 
then we uh, pay a reward. And we pay the reward upon arrest, not arrest and conviction. So you get it, you get immediate satisfaction of the reward. And and the the way it works is, is very simple. You, you just make the call. I'm sure that you see our number, the 1-800, I mean, the one eight six six four five tips uh, number. You can also uh, go to the internet and, and uh, to uh, firstcoastcrimestoppers.com and give information. And there's also an app you can pull up on your phone, a P3 app, and you can go through the process there and get that app. And you can give information over that app on your cell phone. All three of these, we guarantee the anonymity on them. Uh, all we want, of course, is just your information. And, you know, again, uh, if your information leads to an arrest, uh, we, we do pay the rewards. We pay them immediately. So this, the process is simple. Just call, text, or phone us and give us the information, and we will take it from there. We give you another note. All you're ever known by is a code number. Uh, we will give you a number to call weekly to find out the status of the information you give us so that you won't be just lingering and wondering uh, what happened to that information. Uh, we can keep you up to date on it. It's either, you know, the police already had it or the information didn't pan out or the information was good. If the information was good, then I'll tell you where to go and how to pick up your money. It's really that simple. Yeah. And so that that's a new thing. I don't know that we've ever talked about this before. Um, you actually, Crime Stoppers will say, if you call and check, they'll say the information didn't pan out or they already had that. It's not enough. If somebody calls, that's... Absolutely. Okay. But the key to all this now, Ryan, is that people have to remember their code number. That's all we ever know them by. Right. And if you, when you call in every week, that's all we know you by. If you, uh, if you tip least an arrest and we're going to pay you, that's the only thing that you can get paid by is by your code number. Yeah. So code number when you call in is important that you write it down and put it somewhere that you won't forget where it's at. Right. And you guys meet, your board meets to announce these rewards or to, uh, and, you know, approve these rewards and these tips monthly, right? So you never go more than a month without knowing um, right. if your tip led to an arrest or will, you know, lead to an arrest. That's correct. We go, uh, we meet once a month. I got a board uh, of directors, 16 people. We meet, we discuss a number of things, but one of the primary functions of that board meeting is to discuss the cases uh, that were solved and discuss how much uh, you know we're going to pay in the reward. We do pay the rewards up to three thousand dollars, and any murder uh, is automatic three thousand dollars. And then you know everything is commensurate uh, from there, uh, according to the crime and the uh, you know just how violent or bad it was. Yeah, and so some of our people watching understand too. Um, Crime Stoppers is a national organization, but it's really autonomous. I mean, you you run First Coast Crime Stoppers. Yes. Uh, there's a number of Crime Stoppers throughout Florida and the country. Right. Yeah, it's a nationwide program. I run, I've got six counties that I take care of. That's Duval, Clay, Nassau, Union, Baker, and Bradford all come under First Coast Crime Stoppers umbrella. But and people, we do. Go ahead. I was going to say, but people can call in, like, if they call any Crime Stoppers number, they can give a tip on any case. Is that how it works, or does it have to be within that county? No, no. They if they give if they give us information on a county that we don't represent, all we'll do is pass it on to that other Crime Stoppers yeah. program, yeah. And, and vice versa. And, and that happens pretty regular because sometimes uh, people know where somebody's at, but they don't know where the crime actually originated. Right. Uh, in what jurisdiction so gotcha. yes we'll, we'll handle that um so we you always get and we've talked about it a million times people questioning the anonymity and we've talked we've talked about it before i've heard you on local news stations um you know you the reason you never see somebody else that got a reward talking about it is because they're anonymous <laughs> they are, they're not coming forward and say they got well, it i love dave call them and use them uh and tell you that the program works yeah 
but I don't know how to get a hold of them. You know, they, exactly. Uh, well, people are- <laughs> and I talked to you earlier today. Um, the St. John's County Sheriff's Office came out about a double homicide down in St. Augustine uh, right. about a month ago and said, um, you know, we had people call in originally when this double homicide happened and we know they had good information. It was right. not enough to affect probable cause to, to affect any warrants or make any arrests. If those people would call back, you know, and provide more information, we might be able to solve this case. Absolutely. And that, that proves that there's anonymity because obviously if they knew who that was that called with that information they're referring right. to, they just call them back. <laughs> but, yeah. And that's true. And I, I encourage that no matter which way you do it. If you do it on the internet or if you're on the phone, uh, if you come up with new information, call and tell us what your, uh, uh, your code number is from the original call. We can link that together we can, and we can send that on. Yeah. Uh, you know, any piece of information helps in solving the crime. And that's, that's what our organization is all about. Yeah. And, w- you know, we often uh, have to explain, unfortunately, that um, a, a name isn't always enough. So somebody can call with the right, yeah. uh, the right person, but that doesn't mean it's enough to make an arrest. And, you know. And- yeah, that's correct. That's correct. That's so- unfortunate, but true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you'd have people calling all over the place and talking about their ex-boyfriends and wives and yeah. turn yeah. Them in if that's all you needed. But uh, um, no, but, uh, you know, when we um, and that's why you know, I want to point that out, that people call and, and sometimes they call us frustrated and they say, I have this information. I've provided it to law enforcement. I, you know, we always say, well, Call Crime Stoppers. Give it to them, and I, you know, and, and, they say, and some of them say, "Well, I've called Crime Stoppers too," and then we have to tell them, "Like your information was not enough to make an arrest." Like I don't know why, but I, I know that that's the fact. That uh, if you have more information, you know, come forward with that, and um, you know, so so we're we're always trying to explain the 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 judicial process that there's you know you, you need a certain bit of information to make an arrest you need probable cause but then you all but the state attorney's office needs a certain bit of information to prove guilt beyond a reasonable doubt right so there's a lot that goes into this and it's not that people are being ignored or that their information is false i think sometimes people think that because they provided it and it didn't lead to an arrest that um that they think, well, I didn't give the right information. They're assuming that I gave false information. That's not true either. It could very easily be legitimate. No, it could be legitimate. And, and on the other side of that, too, sometimes we get, uh, we, sometimes we pay more than one person on, on a particular case because uh, let's take, say, a murder or a robbery or whatever the case may be, and we get information and uh, this someone will tell us, this guy's name, but I don't have a clue where he lives or anything else about him. Right. And that's great. And, uh, but a lot of times these people are so transient, that it's almost impossible to, to locate them. And then we'll get another call and say, you know, I know where this guy's staying. And so between the two tips, we were able to solve the crime. Yeah. And so they, you know, they were equally uh, involved and equally uh, responsible for that arrests being made and we pay both of them. That's great. That's great. Uh, do you have, I, I should have made sure before I asked you all <laughs> live, but uh, do you have the, the payouts, some of the numbers? I mean, cause you know, we hear about, uh, you know, every time we hear a news story, we hear somebody, the, the reporter say, if you have information, call crime stoppers, they give the number. Um, you know, you guys pay out a lot of money uh, monthly and annually uh do you have the latest figures? Well, as fate would have it, <laughs> uh, I do have some numbers here. Uh, right now, uh, you know, our budget time and our uh, numbers, we run from July uh, 1 through June. And uh, not counting, let's see, not counting this past month, uh, since July 1, we've paid out uh, uh, looks like 12500 Uh Normally, and that's really pretty low, uh, 
normally we, we pay out a lot more than that. I can tell you, uh, going back, I'm looking at this. In the last few years, we usually pay out, this, this looks like an average of, well, in 2014, we paid eight, eight, $837,000. Uh, and in 2019, we paid out $234,000. But we do pay. We, yeah. uh, we pay out a pretty good amount of money. Uh, looking at stats, which I hate <laughs> stats all the time. But since uh, our program has been in existence, and I'm just talking about our program, not right. We've only been in existence like uh, 14, 15 years. The uh, let's see here. The rewards has been we paid out one million six hundred and three thousand dollars. Wow! And uh, from that, we've made uh, thirty eight hundred and ninety eight arrests. Wow! Um, so the program works, you know, the big thing is just getting the, the message out and, and even more so than that is getting people to believe it. I, yeah, I agree. You, if you believe in the anonymity, you'll call. That's right. Because, you know, you could call on your brother, sister, mother, wife, daughter. Uh, hopefully it's not any of them. Right. But unless you tell them, now if you tell them we can't guarantee the anonymity, uh, if you tell anyone, you call. But if you call us and don't tell anyone, no one will ever know. You'd never have to go to court. You'd never get a subpoena. You'll never have anyone knocking on your door wanting information. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that, that has run up through the Supreme Court, Crime Stoppers' ability to maintain anonymity. That's been, that's been challenged in court and upheld. Well, I've had to go to court a time or two and, and, uh, because people still don't believe it. But the bottom line is uh, – Actually, we're trying to get a law also. Right now, we're working on that to, that will take care of that and so we don't keep getting any kind of subpoenas and stuff. But bottom line is, I, I'll tell them, you know, I'll be more than glad to come to court. However, all I can give you is a code number. Yeah. Cause There's no way you can answering. that. No way I can figure it out. There's a code Yeah, you, you're not answering the call. When that tip comes in, it goes to a call center. And it's not right. you. <laughs> so. so I don't... Uh, I don't get any subpoenas anymore. <laughs> That's good. Let's, uh, I, I saw somebody a little earlier mentioned something in the comments about I'll, mm -hmm. I'll triple the reward and, and so-and-so's so case. So I, I want to, I think it's important that we talk about enhancing rewards and complications with outside rewards outside of Crime Stoppers, because I think this causes yeah. confusion and just like explaining the anonymity if we can get the information out there, maybe we can avoid some of this, uh, some complications and some headaches for for you and for people that call in tips. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you asked that because it, it is a complicated. As a matter of fact, I've got I've talked to two people this this just this week already uh, that are wanting to enhance reward. And like I say, we if it's let's take a murder, for instance, and, and we've got a three thousand dollars. That's automatic. $3,000 that we pay on that. Uh, sometimes people, uh, family, businesses, or whatever the case may be, call and they say, listen, I want to put uh, some more money on that reward. And we, I mean, I'll be real quick to tell them that's, that's great. And, and then I'll tell them the process. And the process is simple. You know, it's, as soon as we get the money, we put it in, in a bank account. It's under that particular person's name. It'll be used for nothing else. It'll sit there until we have a contract with you for 18 months. Uh, if the case is not solved in 18 months, you can leave it in there, and hopefully it'll get solved you know, soon thereafter. And it's not to say that it's not going to get solved if you take your money, but you also, but you have the opportunity to, to ask for your money back at that point in time. Uh, and it's, just, it's a simple process. You know, we, we just... We take we get the money, we put it in the bank. We'll get the information out to the media uh, on the enhanced reward, and hopefully we get some some uh, movement on on the tips. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't, and, and uh, Brian is a perfect example of that. Yeah, yeah. For for anybody that you know doesn't know the story um, or, or doesn't remember, and this probably should have told us at the beginning how long we've known each other now. Wiley's over ten years because. Uh, right. when my, my dad was murdered in 2009 
um, an individual came forward with an enhanced reward and went to Crime Stoppers and said, I'm going to increase this reward by $10,000. Um, and, and you did just what you said. You opened an account in my you know, dad's name or you know, whatever that name, so that it went to my, my dad's uh, reward fund. Uh, we held a press conference, announced the, the increase in the reward, um, and no tips came in. <laughs> and uh, unfortunately, a number of years later, you know, no tips still had come in. And uh, the individual that had uh, put up $10,000 of their own money, uh, I, I'll never fault them for this. They, uh, they, they wanted or needed their money back, whatever it was. So, um, so they requested it back. But, but 10 years ago, Wiley uh, called me and he said, I, I have an enhanced reward. We're going to do a uh, uh, press conference, and that was that was our meeting, and and uh, we've kept in touch and stayed friends uh, ever since. Um, but the uh, um, but yeah, that was the the scenario. Now, uh, and I I remember back then, like because we had we had a little uh, service for my dad, and we had a big jar with you know people were putting money in it, and. And, uh, you know, at the time we were saying, oh, well, we're going to, you know, increase the reward again. And uh, I, I think we had a couple hundred dollars, you know what I mean? And, and I called you and you told me, you know, well, we've, we've already increased this reward, you know, $10,000. Uh, you know, if we just add a couple hundred dollars here and a couple hundred dollars there, it might not benefit us, you know, and people might sit back and wait to see how high the, uh, the reward goes. Um, you know, there's, there's a number of complications. And then I remember having a conversation with you about like, not that there's a magic number, but like, you know, I think people feel like if they don't have a hundred thousand dollar reward, then nobody's going to pay attention, but that's not really the case either. I mean, no, no, not at all. I mean, three thousand dollars is a, a lot of money, you know. For for most people, it is for me. I would take it, <laughs> you know, if I had information on a case. Yeah, it is. I tell you one, uh, just real quickly. One other complication is um, anything that we do ten thousand dollars or more uh, total. Uh, if we the IRS requirements right today are if we give out more than ten thousand dollars, then someone has to sign for it. Now, uh, so you know, we try to we try to keep people under that so yeah. that we don't have that. However, if if you if somebody wants to give more than that and they're just uh, like that's what they got to do, then then that's great. But what happens is we can give out uh, if the case is solved and the people call and want the money, we can say you know I, I can give you up to $10,000 or if you want to go into the bank and sign for the rest, you can. I won't be there. I don't know you. I don't want to know you. Uh, and we can, we can work it that way. And we have had to do that in the past. Or you can say, no, I'll just take what I got uh, and, and remain totally anonymous and not have my signature anywhere. Is there, is there a number, you know, below $10,000, above $3,000 where you see more movement? Like if families were to come to you and just and offer $2,000 and, uh, as an enhancement to get that reward to five, right. uh, does that, does that tend to, do you see more movement on a case? Cause I mean, every case is getting three, every murder case is getting three already, right. you know? So let me, let me tell you how my, perspective on that uh three thousand dollars is a lot of money and three thousand dollars most of the time will, will uh, draw some some tips information however uh money is money and people like it and, and the more you can put out there you know it, it every little bit helps and uh but each time that we do put more money out on it we always send it to the media which ultimately means that you're getting more media exposure yeah. on that case. And, you know, especially if a case sits for a long, long time. Uh, unfortunately, there's a ton of murders. Unfortunately, there's a ton of crimes and people's memories get short. And uh, 
So, it, you know, from time to time, it doesn't hurt to, to bump these things up a little bit if we can. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not saying that we're, we don't get the money. So I'm not asking money for us for this. Right. But I'm saying that it helps us. Uh, if I just call the news man and say, you know, can you run that story again? They may or may not. If I say, can you run that story with a new reward? Then the chances are it's going to get run. Yeah. So, but, you know, money does not necessarily, you know, most of the people that call and give information are doing it because they want to do the right thing. And, well, we have a ton of people that'll, that'll call and are eligible for rewards and solve crime, and they never, ever come and pick up the rewards. Yeah. We even have some of them when they call say, I don't care about your reward. All I want is to get this person in jail where they belong, and this is what they've done. And, you know, use a reward on somebody else. Yeah. So, you know, there's a lot of good people out there. We do get a lot of good information and, and all of it doesn't end up with us paying a reward. But that's our job. That's what we do. Yeah. And we are reluctant whatsoever to pay the rewards. So another complication that you and I have talked about in the past is when when people um, publicize there's a reward but it's not money that they have given to Crime Stoppers. It's money that they have in a separate account or with another organization or something like that. Yes. And they'll complicate it because they'll say, well, that reward is paid on arrest and conviction where Crime Stoppers has a very you know, strict policy. The money allocated for a, um, uh, for a victim is the money for that victim. And, and it's paid on an arrest. Right. So if you got a flyer that says uh, $20,000 reward, but you only have $3,000 and somebody's sitting on $17,000, it's not going to work out that way. Somebody's not going to get their $20,000. Yeah. Because the call has to come through Crime Stoppers to get a Crime Stopper reward. That is, that is correct. And, you know, that did cause us a lot of problems in the past with some, uh, and I think that we've, I think that we've got that taken care of, and and uh, just try to make people understand what happens is, you know, if I say I've got three thousand dollars on a case, and then some other group comes <clears throat> and says, well, we're going to put, you know, five thousand dollars on that case, and ours is an arrest and conviction, and we're going to run it through us, and and all that is fine. I don't, I don't care. I, that's you know, the better or the more information we can get out, the better. Right. However, what happens is the news media ultimately gets it. And the only number they give out is, you know, if you got information on this call, First Coast Crime Stoppers, and the reward is now up to $8,000. And then, uh, of course, if, if we solve the crime and we tell them we, going, if we got $3,000, then they think that we're ripping them off for five thousand dollars right and it created a lot of grief and, and uh trying to explain to people who would well, know you got to go over here to get that and then you got to wait on a conviction for the other five and it's right. it was really complicated and, and it was really causing hard feelings between us and, and some citizens and uh but i think we got that all settled now and and that we haven't had that problem in quite a while so that's good. yeah that's good and, and and we bring it up because we we deal with a lot of families outside of of you know jacksonville as well and right. and we see that a lot they'll they'll provide us with a reward flyer and now because of my relationship with you if i see one number one dollar amount but it says for arrest and conviction and it says call crime stoppers all on the same flyer there's going to be confusion. There's a problem. Yeah. yeah. So now I recognize it and I reach out to those families and, you know, and we, we let them know, you know, Hey, look, you need to call and make sure that this number is accurate. Uh, if it's through crime stoppers, it's typically not for a conviction. It's going to be for an arrest. So there are people that don't want to wait three or four years to get their right. money. If that's why they're doing it for the money, right. you yeah. know? And, uh, and there's a big difference between payouts for an arrest and a conviction. I mean, right now in the middle of uh, COVID-19, they're not even having murder trials, you know? So no. we're six months. Well, you know, and on murder trials, you know, with all of the, uh, the, the 
process and the uh, sometimes it, it takes 10 years to ultimately get a conviction on a murder case. I mean, that's not an exaggeration. Yeah. Uh, they have so many appeals and you're not really totally convicted until all those appeals are, are gone. And you may have forgot you even called Crime Stoppers or anybody, whoever you called, <laughs> yeah. by the time that you could collect the money. Yeah. Uh, so it's, you know, if people are good enough to call us and get the information, we want them you know, to get their rewards now. Yeah. And, yeah. and I yeah. think that's fair to them. And, and I think it's just for us to do. Yeah. Well, and, and Wiley, we, you know, I came to you a long time ago when I, when I started project cold case and I thought, you know, if somebody comes to me with a lot of money, um, you know, what, what do I, you know, should I, should I create rewards? Should I funnel those rewards to, to uh, first coast crime stoppers um, what, what should I do? And, you know, and I've always been able to, to just reach out to you and you've always, you know, told it to me straight. Um, and so what we do is we don't get involved in rewards cause that keeps the, <laughs> keeps it clean. Uh, but if a family calls us, we always tell them to reach out to, to either the local crime stoppers or the crime stoppers in their area and to, you know, to ask them, uh, about an enhancement. Will that enhancement, uh, benefit them in a way to get the, uh, a press conference, get some more media publicity. Um, can then they can create their own flyers that say, you know, call Crime Stoppers, exit reward. Um, so, uh, so I think you know it's always good to get this information back out there. Again, I, I've always appreciated how just uh, honest you are about it, how you're willing to talk about it. It's it's not as complicated as some people think. It is anonymous. You do get paid. You get paid three thousand for a murder uh, if your information leads to an arrest. So it, it's not too complicated. But sometimes, you know, when people start hearing stories about, you know, how do they, how do you get the money if you don't, if you're anonymous, you know, and how do you, and, and stories start to formulate in people's heads, you know, and we want to make sure they have accurate information. Yeah, if if I have time here, I'll be more than glad to tell them how yeah. that does work please basically uh you know i, I said earlier that we had you call in weekly and if the the um your tip leads to an arrest then basically we will tell you the date of our board meeting with, and then ask you to call us back the day after and at that point in time i can tell you exactly how much you're going to get and i'll tell you how to get it and it's very simple you know i'll tell you uh there's bank that we work with, several banks that we work with. And whenever we have our board meetings, uh, we give that information, uh, the code number with the amount of money that's, that we're going to pay to that code. We'll tell the tipster, the one that called in the information, uh, when you call back, we'll tell you what bank to go through. And all you do is you go through the drive through teller, you give them your code number, and that's all. They'll send you cash money back through the chute and you drive away. And there's not a time for line there so that you don't have to worry about somebody that may know or, or a ghost that may know who you are and they followed you there. Well, that's not going to happen. Yeah. Uh, you know, you got 90 days to pick it up. If you don't pick it up then for whatever reason, if you were out of town or unfortunately some of these people are in jail and they're still in jail and they don't get out of jail yet. But after 90 days, uh, just call our office back. We'll take it before the board again and renew it. Uh, so you're going to get your money. You know, if you gave us the information and it led to arrest, we're not going to keep the reward. It's yours. Yeah. But uh, and one other, just real briefly, one another program that we have uh, that we pay money out on. That's our gun bounty. The um, <clears throat> gun bounty program is real simple. Also, if you turn someone in give information at least to an arrest to someone that has a gun illegally, such as a uh, felon that's illegal for them to have a gun. Uh, if you turn in someone that uh, has robbed a bank and you know where the gun's at or that we get the gun on the arrest, uh, if, if they're arrested and charged with the gun crime and the gun is uh uh, collected, we'll pay an additional $1,000 uh, 
on top of what we would pay for the Crime Stoppers money. So in a murder case, uh, say you knew where the guy threw the gun or got the gun, you gave the information, the arrest was made on the individual, you told us where the weapon's at, we get the weapon, they charge you with the weapon, you get $4,000. It's, it's easy money if you have information. Easy money if you got information. That's right. Well, and for those of you that may be watching that are local and potentially have information, that's uh, 1-866-845-TIPS. Uh, that's the number here for uh, First Coast Crime Stoppers. But as Wiley mentioned earlier, if you uh, have information on a case that you're not exactly sure which jurisdiction it is, just get the information to Crime Stoppers and they'll sort it out and, and get it to uh, the proper uh, Crime Stoppers. And, and, uh, and then you can call back with your code and, and hopefully be three to four thousand dollars richer in, in less than a month. So That'll, that works. <laughs> that pretty much um, uh, um, sums it up for us, doesn't it, Wiley? Uh, oh yeah yeah let me let me uh straighten out one issue though on the gun bounty itself yeah the gun bounty is uh really just for duval county because the sheriff's office actually in duval county gives us the money for the gun bounty so the other five counties that i've mentioned the gun bounty doesn't apply to those yeah okay well so that that's important information do you know are there are there other Crime Stoppers that do that throughout the country, or is that really just local to, to our county? Right. I think we were the first ones to do it that I'm aware of, and, and actually I spoke at uh, our state conference about it. And since then, there's a, I know a number of other organizations in Florida that have gone to that now. Yeah. Uh, all of theirs is at $1,000. Uh, right, gotcha. Some of them, you know, is less than that, but... A lot of them have taken up the program with the gun bounty. Well, that's good. I think it's important, people, if you're not in Duval County or on the First Coast, uh, reach out to your local Crime Stoppers to ask any specific uh, questions that you may have about. I think it's it's 3000 in Florida now, up to $3,000 reward in the whole state, right? Yes, they can give it up. In all honesty, you've got small programs that are – hardly have three thousand dollars a year for budget so they don't give necessarily give three thousand dollars out i mean we've got some small uh counties that, that just cover the one county yeah and you know if they gave out three thousand dollars on a reward they'd have to shut the door to be <laughs> right. gotcha. so uh but they do the best they can and and uh and a lot of times in those small counties they do get other people that will help them with the rewards yeah yeah so always call and you know find out and realize that you know the conversation we've had here tonight we're we're speaking about specifics with first coast crime stoppers and particularly with that gun bounty is just duval county within first coast crime stoppers so everything else i take is uh is all my six counties you know just uh, just the gun bounty because we get that Yeah, yeah. Did we lose you there, Wiley? Connection go bad? I can't. There you go. There we are. You're back. Still there? Yeah. Yep, yep. Gotcha. So, all right, Wiley. Well, I think we got it to that. I uh, really appreciate your time and uh, and the information you passed on is uh, invaluable for, for our families and the people we help and and obviously anybody out there that has information on a case. So um, so thank you so much. Thank you to Crime Stoppers for everything you guys do in the community. Well, I appreciate it very much. And, you know, it is it is a community effort, and that's what this is all about. And uh, the police can't be everywhere, and they don't know everything, but somebody knows everything. Somebody knows a little bit of everything that's going on. And we just uh, ask you to please call us, help us. Help yourself, help the city in solving crime. It's extremely simple. And, uh, you know, just use us. You know, that's what we're out there for. And I appreciate it. Again, uh, your invitation and 
Thank you, and thank you for the job that you do also, Ryan. Appreciate right. it. Appreciate that, Wiley. We will be in touch soon. And, um, you know, as always, if there's anything we can do to help, don't, don't hesitate to reach out. We, we do anything we can for you. Appreciate that, and uh, same, same to you. All right, Wiley. You have a great night. Thanks, sir. Bye-bye. Bye. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for joining us. We will see you again next week.